Hey guys, it's Katie. Today's video is going to be an extreme closet clean out and I really needed this. I'm the type of person to keep clothes just because I might wear them one occasion, but I end up never wearing them. So today we're just going to be cleaning out my entire closet. It's mainly my closet that I don't wear stuff, not my dresser, but we'll do both because they probably both need it. Um, most of these clothes are going to be going to Goodwill or I'm going to be selling them on Depop or Mercari. Not really sure yet though, so let's get into it. my drawer of shirts that I might wear or might need one day but I never actually do. Sorry if the lighting is terrible, but I made an executive decision to do this by sections. So we're going to start with all my summer shirts that are hung up. We're going to move to dresses, then sweatshirts, etc. That's how we're going to do it. I'm going to make two piles, one for keep, one for donations or sell. So let's just get started. First time doing this didn't do terrible, but I could have done better. These are the ones that I'm giving away, and then these are the ones that I'm going to try on again just to see if I still like them or not, so we're undecided on that. This is literally everything that I'm giving away as of right now. These are the ones I already photographed to sell. If they don't sell in a week, I'm just going to give them away because I don't really care that much. And then these ones are also needed to be photographed. But look how much I'm getting rid of so many clothes. Oh my gosh. So I kind of redid this drawer. I put a little bin here. It's for my underwear and stuff. And then I have socks, bras, everything like that. And then I had an overflow of socks that I don't wear. So, I put them in this little bin, just like socks that are like really fuzzy or just socks that I usually don't wear on a normal occasion, I put in here, um, so if I ever need them, I can grab them, but they're just kind of out of the way. This drawer has also decreased astronomically. I used to have so many clothes in here, now I don't have as much. And then, I'm just going to shut that. Um, this sweater drawer still needs some work. Give away a lot of sweaters though. And then this one, look how neat this drawer is now. This drawer, ooh, it's not in focus, hold on. As I was saying, this drawer used to be a mess. This used to be my t-shirts that I'll probably never wear a drawer. Now I have some tank tops over here, some plain t-shirts and long sleeves, and then some more long sleeves. The bottom drawer is for all of my extra pants. These are the pants that I usually wear at school, but I'm obviously not wearing them right now because it's summer, so I just kind of have them there for now. And then there's my little 
pillow pet. And it doesn't look like it, but I got rid of so many shirts, guys. I am now down to this, and I still might be getting rid of some of them, but I just have them hanging for now. Got rid of a couple of dresses, but I like all of my dresses a lot. Got rid of some sweaters that didn't fit me anymore or that I didn't want, and then some other shirts, so we're looking good. My top drawer is dedicated to my t-shirts, and I'm going to show you guys how I fold these to make them more compact and so I can fit a ton more in this drawer. I also forgot to mention it's the next day because I'm wearing different clothes. Um, this is what these shirts look like when I fold them my roommate actually taught me this and i live by it now absolutely love how compact they are and they just look really pretty when they're folded up and it's easy to see all of your shirts so we're gonna fold this right now you're gonna start with having your shirt upside down bring this side over to about the middle of the collar so this shoulder is at the middle of the collar then we are going to take the sleeve and fold that in so there's kind of like a half line a little more than half and then you're going to take the other side, fold it over like that, so you want this part to meet um, with the other seam, fold the sleeve over, okay? So now you have a little long sword rectangle, um, then you're going to take this, fold this over like this, okay? And then put this, fold this in half again, you got a little compact Thing. And then another way to do this if you guys don't want such a long thing is you fold it and leave a little bit of space between the top and the bottom of the shirt. You fold it over once, I think. Oh yeah, you fold this down and then you fold this over again, if that makes sense. So then it's even more compact than the one you had before. So again, you just, oopsies, you fold the bottom part up about leaving this much room fold the top part over fold this over and there you go i never thought i'd be teaching you guys how to fold on my channel but shout out to my roommate for teaching me that way absolutely love it this is how compact it is if you guys are like me and you have a ton of t-shirts um, definitely fold them this way. It will save you a lot of room and it's easier to figure out which t-shirt you want. I don't do this with kind of like these shirts just because they wrinkle a little more. So I just fold those a normal way. But ones like these that I don't think wrinkle that much and that are just kind of old t-shirts. Fold them this way because it's so much easier. So now you're just going to plop that in there. It's kind of hard to do with one hand, not gonna lie. Yeah, now everything is nice and neat. I didn't do that much with this drawer, but these are all of my long sleeves. These are my shorts that are kind of like more athletic material. These are my summer shirts. And then on the very bottom, I have all of my pants. So I have my jeans. These are all my jean shorts. These are all my leggings, sweatpants, pajama pants, everything like that. So that wraps up my extreme closet clean out and decluttering and organizing. I'm super happy how it turned out. As you can tell, I have a lot of work to do with all my old clothes. We're going to figure out what to do with those. Um, it was also kind of like a mini closet tour because you guys got to see how I organized my drawers and everything. So thank you so much for joining. If you liked these videos, make sure you subscribe down below and I will see you guys later. Bye.